Hello, hello. Welcome to Gaw TV. Hi, ladies. So good to hello. see you. Hello. You look Happy freaking Wednesday. adorable. Oh, we're adorable. so cute. We're dressed appropriate for our amazing guests we have coming on. But while you're here, please give us a like. Yeah. Thumbs up. You know, subscribe to our channel because you never want to miss an episode. Look how cute we are. Come we on. have so much fun. We talk to so many amazing people from so many different industries. We drink wine. We wear our PJs or a raspberry beret. Or is that strawberry, Val? I think it's a oh. raspberry cranberry mix. Okay. Okay. Cranberry. <laughs> it, it helps the UTIs. It does. <laughs> oh, and we're all God. about the health here on Gaw TV. Yeah. I went there. And I went there. Bell, ladies, get that bell icon because you never want to miss an episode. That was right in my ear, but I digress. Sorry. We are so excited for our guest tonight. Cherry is already in the waiting room, so we are so excited to welcome her. But I will say quickly a big thank you to our gorgeous members. Mm hmm, oh. ladies. Mm hmm. Gorgeous it. members of patreon.com slash gaw tv because you guys voted for your top tier gorgeous gift in november and of course you voted for a fabulous live chat just like you're on gaw tv we're going to be doing our chat very soon and if you are a top tier member of november the details are already on patreon.com slash gaw tv and now that we're in december ladies we have another top tier gift to bestow upon our patrons and because we know you guys like the live chat we thought we would do that again this time at beginning of january it's going to be a new year's eve bash New Year's celebration, rather, and we're trying to figure out the theme. It could be like sequins and fancy champagne. Mm -hmm. It could be ugly holiday sweater. You guys, we should probably let them decide, right? Yeah, I think, I think so. I yeah. think so. Type in below. Hello to everyone in the live chat. Type below what you'd like to be uh, the theme for our live chat, or you can, of course, let us know on Patreon, please. Yeah. Oh. Absolutely. And don't forget. You can hear all our mistakes on our podcast on Spotify. Um, thank you to Ella for transferring us. Yes. Oh, oh, get it. Oh, uh, 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 get it, get it, get it, get it, girl, get it, girl, get it, girl, go, go, go. <laughs> Love it. Oh my gosh. But and like we said before, we're super excited for our next guest. Um, I love her. She's this too sweet for the business. Another Molly Holly. Um, and, um, I reached out to her and she was like, you had me at wine and pajamas. So she's super <laughs> excited about it. So, um, yeah. we're going to welcome Kara, as you guys said, Kara Barra, Kara Barra, Kara Barra Drew, Kara Barra Drew. Um, yes. Um, I've been talking, chit chatting with her a little bit the last, you know, I keep on, I I'm in contact with Cliff Compton, which was Domino. Deuce and Domino. Forgetting. Yes, yes. Deuce, Deuce Domino and Cherry. So let's get her in, baby. Let's get her in. Miss Our cherry-picked cherry guest. Here she is. A cherry-picked guest. That's cute. Cherry baby. Cherry. Cherry baby. Cherry baby. Cherry. you like, oh, God, what have I gotten myself into? Oh, what am I doing? She's like, oh, I got to go. Bye. And you see me. Oh no. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at these ladies. Oh, we're <laughs> wearing red specifically for you, Cherry Baby. Oh, you guys are so romantic. Aww. Thank you. You didn't we hear try. us singing Cherry Baby, did you? That didn't scare you off of joining the show? <laughs> I didn't do it again. No. <laughs> okay, oh, no. <laughs> all the dogs in my neighborhood started barking when we started singing. It got weird. Um, we need more subscribers. We don't want to drop off. No, we don't. <laughs> the more we sing, the more the numbers go down. In all seriousness, thank you for being here. Thank you for being on Grown Ass Women TV from one so grown ass to woman to another. You. Welcome. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. Cheers. Can you see? Cheers. My, my dog is. Yes. Your is that what your background is? Your doggy? Yes. Oh, oh, oh my, my God. God. So scared at me. Love of my life. little ponytail. We can <laughs> see that you're imbibing on a little uh, libation, which we'd love and appreciate. So what we'd love to do with our guests is ask you, first of all, who are you wearing? Because you look fabulous. And girl, what you drinking? This is Klein um, Pinot Noir. And this is Johnny Waz that um, Natty got me for my birthday. So oh. I got my Waz pajamas. Oh. She spoils me. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. The sweetest yeah. insane. She's in the out of her mind. But we love her Miss, that way. Miss Louis Vuitton. Miss Louis Vuitton. She's Girl, obsessed with Louis Vuitton. 
I can't get her anything because I can't afford Louis Vuitton. Oh my, you know what I asked Gail? I said, who do you, she was talking about people that love fashion and wrestling. And it's kind of, she's like, yeah, no one really likes to dress up. She goes, but Natty loves like Louis Vuitton. She knows her designers and she, yeah, she dresses to the nines. I love Loves that. a good statement yeah. piece. Good yeah. for her. She's worked hard to spoil herself. And she's yeah. yeah. TJ too. Because yeah. I've been at that store. We walked in that store and we've got champagne where other people are just browsing around. They like cater to her. So good for her. Yeah. Yes. They know she, we love her. They know she came to shop. She came to party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not just to browse and yeah. be curious right. about the price tags. <laughs> yeah. Lisa wanted to go last, but Mickey, we got, you got to tell us about this mini mouse. Yeah. Oh, I'm dying. Well, I didn't, I went, they said, Hey, we were like, well, let's wear something red. And I don't have a ton. I had a ton of like burgundies but it didn't have a ton of red, but I pulled this out, which I believe I, we wore for an old, one of our first episodes of God TV when we were doing our, our um, onesies, yep. our fleecy onesies, Cherry. How fun. Yeah. So cute. Remember. Yeah. So yeah. cute. A little Minnie Mouse. And but you're in Virginia, device. right? <laughs> um, I live in, outside of Nashville now. So, oh, okay. yeah. So is it cooler there? So is, are you it's, like comfortable? No, it's cold. It's cold. I, so. I don't okay. like it. I don't. I always say, oh, I love the seasons. And then the seasons come. And I'm like, I hate this. I hate this. Yes. Cold. You yeah. don't like the cold. I'm okay. Winter, not so much. Don't, I don't enjoy it. No. Yeah. No. What are you drinking to warm your little, your little sweet oh, belly? I, well, I was going down and I thought I'd have this 14 hands, which I bought strictly because there was a horse and a equine kind of relevance to it with the 14 <laughs> hands. Cause that's how they measure the height of horses is hands. Right. Yeah. Um, yes. It's a little Cabernet. It's all right. That it's all right. That's it's supposed to be good. really, really nice. Really? I think it was like 16 bucks. This bottle. It was 14, 14, 50 at CVS. 14, 50 at CVS. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Mm. I love any and all wine. I'm not picky. And I will I, go next because I have a lovely, uh, by the way, I'm an England cherry. So I do love I the I heard. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I, I'm mostly from hot states. Orlando, Florida is really home for me. I've lived in California, Texas. Hip, hip, beret. I am here for the winter wear. <laughs> I love it so much. And also something that keeps me warm is the Milton Keynes special. M&S Pinot Grigio Blush de la Venicia. And it oh, is, wow. it's oh, going that's a down new a one. Treat, as they say. That's yeah. a new one. Mm -hmm. You know, I know rosé is like a summer drink, but I have not gotten off of it for the last two years. So don't tell me how to seasonally drink. I'm just going to drink what I want to drink. Right. And I do have a vintage beret on. We were so happy to honor Cherry with Cherry Red everything because we're so happy that you're here. So you're yeah. so cute. Cheers. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I wanted to go last. So um, hold on. I'm trying to see. Uh -oh. <laughs> Big reveal, big reveal. Oh, she's, she, don't, don't, she don't, 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 don't. What's she doing? You want to know oh, what I'm wearing? I know. You want to know what I'm wearing? Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> she went. I had to. I, I was going through my closet and I saw the skates. I go, oh, I got to wear my skates for Carrie. <laughs> Oh, are you kidding me? You are you kidding me? So cute. Oh I love God. you. That's because I love you. I love you. Oh, I, I, I really I thought I was going to take a bump. <laughs> I am, yeah, I'm out of the wrestling business and I thought I was going to fall. And I was like, this okay. is going to be classic if I do fall. But um, I'm no just wearing just my red. Crying, girl. There's no wrestling and crying. <laughs> yes, exactly. Do you remember that? We'll talk about that, Sherry. Oh my gosh. So I'm just drinking. Um, I actually bumped up my um, taste, you guys. Um, this is at CVS. I love um, that one. Compo Viejo. Viejo. Yes. Um, and the guy that, uh, he was like, oh, have you tried that wine? I'm dying to try that wine. And I go, no. I go, because this is eight fifty. dollars um, I usually get the $4 wine, you know, the <laughs> yeah. six, six packet for 10% off. And yeah. he goes, well, let me know how that is. And so, um, yeah, yeah. So how is it? I, I, I stepped it up. It's really nice. No, oh my God. It. Yeah. It's, it's really dry, which I like dry wine. And I'm drinking out of my um, mug for David, my boyfriend. He Aww. just had back surgery. Yeah. And how did he that got go? this as a gift. Sweet. Yeah. And, and baby D for baby D. And for Aww, baby T. Yeah, I love them both so much. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. And cheers to David's yeah. recovery, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. How is he doing? Guys. 
Is he okay? Um, he was nervous as hell. Um, he was more nervous about the catheter than anything. I can imagine. So yeah, but the Sharp Medical, you guys, freaking top notch. The doctor called me. I was on the phone for, you know, usually they're like, okay, he's doing fine. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, hey, we started chit chatting because um, there was there was a next door to us was a kidney transplant. Um, he was donating his kidney to his brother. And David works at the kidney and pancreas transplantation center. So um, in Sharp, and he processed his paperwork, the guy next to him. How weird is that at the, wow. the, the, the wow. at the pre-op, right? I know. Yeah. yeah. And then the lady came over from the kidney transplant. She came over. She goes, David, is that you? I recognize your voice. Came over, talked to us. And I go, oh my gosh. I go, you know, I used to work in the eye and tissue bank um, in Redlands, California, Loma Linda University. I go, I went to La Sierra University. She goes, I went there. And, um, and I go, she goes, wow, you were in the eye and tissue bank. And I go, yeah. And I go, I worked with Betsy Crowell and Michael Thompson. She goes, you were there in the nineties. Yeah. It was just weird. Wow. All this synchronous energy, right? Exactly. Yeah. That's probably why I'm waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some synchronicity is happening, sis. That's an RVD wow. word. RVD is a synchronicity, which you guys don't know what that is. Give it a goog. Google that. <laughs> synchronicity. Give it a straight up goog. I dare Give you to it goog it right now. Don't do it now because you're watching our show, but like after yeah. when you have time. After, just yeah. make a note. Make a mental note or put it on your phone. Hang on, make a mental note. Or type it in the chat. Synchronicity. Let me yeah. get a pen. Hang on. Give it a goog. Really, I want to say, clearly, I also I undersold the wine. I'm like, yeah, it's all right. I'm pouring glass number two right now. Out of, oh, okay, yeah. No way. It's, it's clearly, delicious. It. It's delicious. <laughs> delicioso. Well, I have to ask first question. So Lisa brought out the, the nostalgic roller skates. You are the only roller skating diva. How did that come about? Because it was so much fun. But it was it like, hey, can you wear these roller skates? Or were you like, hey, can I roll? Like, wh well, how did that happen? Yeah. So Cliff came up with the idea. So oh. Jimmy and Cliff were doing the gimmick and Mickey probably remembers um, in promo classes. And mm -hmm. Cliff came up with the idea to add a chick with the old school roller skates. So they didn't know what she looked like. They didn't know what her name is. They just wanted an old school roller skate girl. So right. um, they approached me. It was, we were at TVs on Wednesdays. So, mm -hmm. and I knew Jimmy from, from New Jersey. He, we, independence and all that stuff. So, um, he had approached me and said, Hey, you know, Domino and I are working on this thing. We want this girl and Jimmy knew me and stuff like that. So we don't know what she looks like. We don't know her name, whatever. We just want our old school roller skates. Would you be interested? And I was like, yeah, how care. Like, right. so he said, okay, well the office is coming down Tuesday. So a week, <laughs> So we were keeping this a secret and Mickey, you were the only one I told. Yeah. So, um, after that TV taping, we went into the locker room and they showed me kind of their stuff. And I'm like, Oh my God, like, what does she look like? Like, what is my, like, they had, they gave me nothing other than the skates. So I frantically looked for the skates. I was like, I want a job. So I'm going to yeah. try this. So it took me a week. So when, so Thursday I went running around for the roller skates and I found them locally, which was surprisingly. Um, and then I just went to the mall and I just, any second I had to like kind of come up with it. And I just went to the mall and I found like this cute little skirt and this top and, you know, threw together. It was the pink button down with the black little mini skirt and then the, mm -hmm. the um, sequin belt. So Sunday, we agreed, the three of us agreed to meet at OVW. And I think I was in class, Rip's class. And then after class, the guys came and we kind of like chatted and I put my outfit on for them and they're like, great, you know. So Sunday we chatted, did kind of played around in, in um, like the back with promos and kind of how that would work. And then we talked about, okay, well, what's her name? So we thought Grease, Sandy, Cherry Outsiders. Cherry's right. wrestling esque. So right. we went with that. So um, Monday comes around, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, Monday comes around, and Jimmy's like, uh, bummer, Danny and Al are not letting you or Cliff come to the to the presentation for Johnny and everybody on Tuesday because they were only allowing contracted people. So I was like, that freaking stinks. So right. and again, nobody knew. So um, he's like, just be ready. Cause my boyfriend at the time was coming 
that Thursday for the weekend. So I was like, I'll just clean the apartment, like whatever. So I was ready. So Tuesday morning, I'm like sitting on my sofa, like bum, just like waiting. And Jimmy's like, get down here. So I was like, oh my God. So I run down there to um, Davis Arena and I burst in the door. So everybody's there and ready because everybody's on time, right? So I walk in and I go into the locker room, like go into that back hallway to go to the locker room and I lock eyes with Rip Rogers. And he shoots me daggers. He's like, this dumb bitch is late. And I'm thinking, I can't tell him like what happened because nobody knew what we were doing. So I wanted to be like, Rip, I'm not late. Like, (laughs) just bad. So I ran in the locker room and everybody was out in the arena, rushed and rushed. Now I hadn't skated since I was a little girl. Right. So it was all very- Oh my God. (laughs) Yeah. So you guys remember that the Davis arena is concrete. So I come out and of course, Deuce and Domino are on the other freaking side of the arena. So I roll out and it just, all I remember is it got silent. And as I'm rolling to Jimmy, I'm like, everybody's like, like, what the hell is that? Like, <laughs> what's going on? And I'm like, Jimmy, catch me. I can't stop. <laughs> Make me look cool. It was all fate. It was all fate. And I'm so thankful for it. But yeah, Cliff came up with it. I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get a job. And And we never knew it was going to work, but we got signed that day. And it was literally a week that we were together. So that after that day, they wanted us to debut on Raw that Monday. And it was that fast. Oh, yeah. Damn. Pressure. So my boyfriend comes in Thursday and I was like, you know, he had already known or whatever. I get a call after I'm literally on the, on the way back to my apartment with him from the airport. And they're like, you're going on the road tomorrow. So my boyfriend, my boyfriend. <laughs> my boyfriend got stuck in Louisville for the weekend while I went on the road, supposedly debuting Monday. And he was great about it because, and um, Mickey remembers Inferno Kid. So yeah. my boyfriend was best friends with him. So I, my apartment in Louisville was across the hall from Inferno Kid and his girlfriend. So it was, it was mm-hmm. perfect the way it worked out. So he had someone to hang out with because because Danny was still there right. so it worked out but we ended up not debuting we were supposed to like I think Billy Graham had a like a book he put out and we were supposed to crash his like announcement or something so right. they ended up mixing it which is, was a blessing in disguise because then we marinated in Louisville for a year and really melt yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah yeah and you learned how to I, skate yeah I was going to ask about oh. some of those. I remember some of those entrance ramps of you having to try to skate down those entrance ramps. Girl. They're steep. <laughs> They're sometimes steep too, right? They, so ironically, TV, though, right? yeah, so we went and it was, I think that when they were going to break, we were coming up a lot and I was like panicked about that ramp because the raw one was like steep. So right. we figured out like an entrance where I would, kind of like be in back of them and just hold on to them. So, but ironically, when we debuted, they had taken the ramps away. So it worked out perfect. So yeah, that I was, that was the only thing I was worried about. (laughs) Right. Like I got this, but that ramp, because it was, it, it would have launched my ass. You know how I can, I can, what I'm thinking of, by the way, it was such a memorable gimmick. Everyone knows that gimmick. It was so much fun. It's so light. I always say on this show, like, I wish there was more of that kind of fun, um, whimsical stuff. But remember that there's a, there's a big uh, funny video on Twitter all the time. And like a gif of Austin in that rolling office chair and how he flies down that ramp. So imagine being on roller skates. You would have just taken flight. It would have been like a speeding bullet. Yeah. It could have been finished. That was your finish. (laughs) Could have been, could have gone real bad. (laughs) <laughs> that's that's a run-in like uh, Mike Stasiak <laughs> yeah. on the skates and then take a bump and then go through the ring <laughs> oh my god I, that's I had I had nightmares about it I was Scary. so happy they changed it so funny. oh man yeah that yeah. was that, I, that rip was big <laughs> I I still talk to Cliff Compton once a week um we basically all we talk about him uh as our dogs <laughs> <laughs> dog dog lovers and he just got a new uh, a bulldog and, bulldog, yeah. and yeah, yeah yeah and so um and then also I remember I was like talking to the wrestling guy store and I'm like you need to yes. get do uh, uh yeah you and yeah we did and that Cliff that was great and, uh, he was a yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That was cool. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. The, the, the skates were a blessing in disguise. They were a nightmare at times. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So I almost got my skates taken from me when we were on overseas going, um, one of the, the TSA people were like, no, it's a weapon. And I was like, fit, they're going to take my skates. <laughs> and it was a live event. So it's not like I had my extra skates at TV in the box. Right. Right. Yeah. So right. Thank God fit was like, calm this TSA down. Like she's not using it as a weapon. Like they're roller skates, you know, it's not like, right. Box yeah. That's so, yeah. Those oh were, my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my so, God. um, Cherry, do you remember having a match with me? And, um, uh, I, I, I think it was our first match and only match, right? Isn't that, is that correct? Is our only match? The London one? Um, when I messed up on my, uh, my, my saying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm tormented by that. Tell him, tell him what I said to you. <laughs> so she's kicking my butt, which was the whole point, right? So she, <laughs> We get carried away and I'm doing my crying because she's kicking my butt. You know, Cherry's not supposed to know how to wrestle. And she goes, there's no wrestling and crying. crying? <laughs> That's why you said it like that. It was on backwards and I go, oh my God, I totally freaking, the only thing I'm saying in the ring that, yeah, yeah. That was a really good match though. What's that? That was, well, I thank God on my heel that I can get away with stupid <laughs> stupidity. But that was a really good match, Cherry. It was. And I thought it was, I I thought it was going to launch into another angle. Um, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't remember. Yeah. It's so long ago. But yeah. 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 Like, no, yeah. You wanted to wrestle so time. badly. You wanted yeah. to wrestle so badly. Yeah. And you're like, gosh, you know, I don't want to be just a valet or a manager and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And you were trying so hard to get in the ring because you had training, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 We did a bunch of tag matches after that. And it was, it, it initially was really bringing Natty in. I think that that's what it was. And they needed some oh, yeah. baby face to, you know, and it was really just me and Michelle at the time. I think they ended up, Eve right. was off backstage announcing and Maurice was off with the boys kind of, I think. But um, yeah, yeah. so, oh my God, that was so much fun. <laughs> Doesn't it seem like eons ago, you guys, when you think about this stuff, you're like, it feels like it's been 80 years ago. Mm -hmm. But it seems like yesterday. 80. No, I know. I know. It I does feel myself. like yesterday, but it, it wasn't like 80 years ago. God, don't age oh. us that much, Lisa. Yeah, please. There's only so much drunk elephant skincare that we can do. I know. <laughs> Shout out. Oh my gosh. Hold it on. Does. Oh, okay, I mean, good now. Time flies. <laughs> oh, I like this. Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I like that no. better? Hang on. Oh, wow. No, I don't like it. I don't like <laughs> it. Me likey. Me likey. Oh, oh my yeah. God. I think that's Well, fair. Cherry, what's, what's like, what are you doing like in the future? Yeah, like what, what are we, and um, what's, what's going, what's brewing? I know you're going to be joining, um, joining whatnot and auctioning your eight by tens and Ooh, your roller yes. skates. Your roller yes. skates. Well, I felt like I was so removed from it that any, nobody was really interested. And I just put the feelers out, out there on Twitter and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I mean, I, everybody, I, I I'm going to put it out there. I only have one pair of skates left. <laughs> everybody wants to buy my skates. Um, I had four pairs. I have the one that I have left. I have one pair I gave to Domino because we did a signing with Ozzy Osbourne, they signed it. So Domino wanted those skates. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a cool story. What? Did you charge him? Did you charge him? No. Did you, you make a deal? You're like, <laughs> no, go ahead, take the damn skates. Um, it's an Oz. You can, you know. You're so nice. I would not <laughs> have given here. up those skates. I, me either. I wouldn't I would either. have been like, here, take these other ones that he didn't sign. Have hey, you Domino, know? Give, me a, Domino give me a portion. <laughs> give me a portion of your Circus de Soleil. Uh, paycheck because he works at C circus de soleil yeah he yes. loves it though i've seen he loves it too. he loves it oh that show is incredible i yeah. was thought wait it was he, is he a performer no. no no he helps with the backstage theatrics yeah 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 i always and, thought um, that would no. be scary and then i saw it it was it's like you're transported into some sort of fabulous I know. I know. it's like yeah. chippendales but with clothes when you're transported oh. into like a world that you've never seen before. He'll occasionally text me and I'm like, he'll, he'll Vox me, Vox, we still have Voxer, um, yeah, and ask me, hey, this girl said this to me, what should I take from that? And I go, 
Um, I'm not in the dating scene. I don't know what that means anymore. It's a different. Yeah. He'll ask me. He's asking you for dating advice. Yeah, exactly. Me? Are you kidding me? I'm divorced. You should ask somebody else. (laughs) Dating evolves too fast for any of us to keep up at this point. Yeah. You know, and like all the different, you know, acronyms and I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not single and happy about it. (laughs) Good for you. So, so yes, yeah, so we have eight okay. by tens to look forward to and merchandise. I yes. would hope just as a fan, saying this as, as fangirl Val over here, what's up, that you would do more signings and do more shows so people could actually meet you in person. Is that something you want to do more of? Like more wrestling? I, yes, I will do more. I just am very particular. Like, I don't want to saturate because yes. nobody comes around, right? So you, right. you pick and choose. So yeah. Um, the guy I was with, he um, he's out of Tennessee, and he was thinking of WrestleCon. I have never done a WrestleCon, so oh, you must. Um, and if you oh. come to WrestleCon, okay, if you come to WrestleCon, please consider this your formal invite. We are doing WrestleMania three, um, from the Biltmore Hotel. We've just talked to Child Help, and that for ours, our official kind of donation per- sponsored people who we, cause we do it. This is our third year mm-hmm. and we're doing it. And we always give the money to charity and we auction off dresses. We auction off all kinds of things that all go towards this thing. And we would really love for you to come. It's going to be on Saturday oh, night. I still have Bilt my hotel uh, hall where WrestleCon is. Too. Yes. You have your what? I still have my hall of fame dresses that I wore yeah. the times I went. Oh my God. Yes. That's what I'm, that's what oh I'm going to auction off too. We'd be I'm honored. We'd that. be honored. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and please, we'll, we'll discuss yeah. separately of what what you know what you're comfortable donating. But yeah, people have done everything from wrestling gear to Molly Holly Bless Her Heart donated her Hall of Fame dress. Yeah, We've had I different know. types of outfits, eight by tens, video calls, whatever you know suits you. But yeah. as Mickey said, like and, and again, we're speaking for the fans; they'd love to see you at WrestleCon, and it's particularly yes. a really fun one. And if you're there in Hollywood, we're going Hollywood, y'all. It's going to be WrestleMania. We would love to have you. That'd be awesome. Yeah, we're going to wow. be there. We'll have our little God TV table. Yep. It's going to be fun. So we'll see you there. It'll be awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, this so has fun. been fun. Thank oh my you. God. Am I, am I the only one still drinking? No, uh, I still, I poured another no. glass. Clearly no. I, I, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for you to take so a what sippy, else do you, sippy. What else do you have going on? Because I know we've had you on for a little bit, but what else do you have going on? You have website, you have what's real life. Like what's, yeah. you know, what can yeah. we plug ski? What can we plug ski? Where can the fans find you? I am on Twitter (laughs) at former Diva Cherry. So F-M-R-D-I-V-A Cherry. Um, Instagram, I'm DDC Chick with two C's, DDC Chick. Uh And then on Cameo, DDC Chick as well. Um, Nice. So that's where they can reach me. Yay. That's fun. Yay. And then whatnot very soon. I got to get that up and running. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I talked her into it too. Because yeah. we can um, we can sit in our pajamas, do a live auction at home in my yep. kitchen, and just um, interact with the fans and stuff like that. It's the same as a guest appearance, but at your leisure. I yeah. don't have to dress up. I don't have to dress up. Yeah, you know? that's what we love about it is is the fact that yeah, it's Mickey, like I'll send you the schedule. link. I'll send you the link. Okay. Yeah, and you like admit. we're kind of our own bosses and stuff. And much as we love you know working with promoters, it's sometimes kind of fun. No offense to any promoters watching, we love you. Sorry, but it's yeah. fun to sort of cut out the middleman and just sort of like be your own store your own brand and things like that so th- yeah, for that yeah. reason technology is really serving us well with only fans and and you know exclusive sites and it auction sites platform. like lisa's doing too so everyone yeah. that's watching we are so thrilled you could join us for cherry this is ex- especially exciting for me because i've always loved everything oh retro God. and cherry a big fan everything is going to be in the description here on youtube and if you're listening on podcast you can check the caption thanks to lf for converting our show to podcast form but a final cheers to Miss Cherry Baby. Yay! Cherry Baby. Cherry baby. Thank you so Cherry much, Cherry. Baby. I was waiting for Mickey to chime so in. I was I looked Aww. at you at your at your square and I go, when's Mickey gonna say it? Yeah, she's the singer. <laughs> On that note, I love, cheers, oh my God. everybody. Pleasure, pleasure. Yeah, cheers, everybody. Woo! Cheers. Thank you, Cherry. Thank you, you so much. This is the word go, yo, go.